Guys, it's me, Boy Genius here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Xbox One. Right here, you got the power button, eject button, touch sensitive buttons, the fan, and on the back, you got your HDMI cords, your connector cord, um, Ethernet, Ethernet cable. If you want to wire, if you want to plug in some wired internet. You can just do that. Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to put Call of Duty away real quick. Alright, so... Now that I got Call of Duty put away, take a look at the system. You got the Xbox button. Touch sensitive. Eject button. Blu-ray disc. Reader. Uh, this is what the controller looks like. This is just a aftermarket wire wire controller, but that's not the original controller. Um. All right, so here's the controller. This is the white controller. This controller came with the Xbox One X, but it it can also work with the original Xbox One. And, um, Windows computers takes two double A's, got your headset and your, what the frick is it, I don't know what it's called, it looks way different than an Xbox 360 controller, but probably, it's actually the same size as one, it's just different. Alright. So now I'm going to turn it on, like so. Alright guys, so here is what the home screen looks like. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to turn the TV up. Sign into my account. It says, hi Jared. Now this is where your main your game the last app you use will appear followed by the second one you use third one fourth one the fifth one and the last two pretty easy to get to where you want or you can just go hit the Xbox Live or Xbox Guide go to my games and apps and then just <clears throat> just go through here to get to your games go down to apps to get to your apps groups to get to what I don't know full library I take a look at my own games some of them I uninstalled that's why you see that download sign right next to them and manage, I don't ever use that either. Got your friends tab. I have like uh, about 30 or 40 friends or so. Yeah, most of these people I know in real life. So and then you got your clubs. You can go help people out. Like you join games and help people out with stuff. Or you just do something, yeah. And then here's recently played with like all the play all the people you played games with, you can access their profiles through here. And if you find someone, you can type in anybody's gamer tag and then go and find them. Alright guys, I'm back, but anyways, as I just said this is where you can look up someone. If you know their gamer tag, you just go ahead and look it up. Or suggested friends. Mm. You go find people. It finds you people that are like either mutual friends. Uh, someone invited me to a club, but uh, I don't know. And then start a party, like you start a party just to come in here and chat people and play games with each other. 
or you can go in here and look for a group say like you're looking for someone to help you out getting a w on fortnite you would just go in here and then just create the post and tell them what you want Yeah. Um, then your achievement list, you go in here to see all your achievements from games you own. I have um, 200 and no, 2090 gamer score right here. And these are all my games Fort Minecraft. It's okay. I mean, yeah, Minecraft is fun to do videos on. Fortnite, it's okay. Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty, actually, it's pretty good. It's a pretty cool game to play. Grand Theft Auto V, one of my main favorites. Just because I go online and I just chill out in the lobby and, uh, just go do adversary modes and whatnot. Roblox, it's alright. The crew, it's pretty lit. I just don't really play it as much. Friday the 13th, one of my favorite horror games. One Leaves, I didn't like it that much. Call of Duty War, Call of Duty Warzone. Hmm, it's okay, it's not bad. Forza Horizon 4, one of my other favorite type of racing games. Minecraft for Android. You know what I already think about Minecraft for Xbox One. It's pretty much the same thing. Hawken never really got into that. Forza Horizon 3 was alright. Dem or Doom. Eh, I never really played it. Frozen Freefall. Uh, I only bought this game because one of my cousins was going to play it. But then she could she didn't. But other than that, I never played it. I don't really care to either. Apex Legends. I know it's one of the pop, one of the most popular games out there right now. I just never really played it. Same thing with Warface. Darwin Project. Uh, it's kind of like Fortnite, just a bit different. Yeah. These are all the games I play. And then your messages, you come in here, check all your messages, you know, typical. Then capture and share, this is where you can start your live stream or capture a screenshot from inside a game or start recording. <laughs> and then, um, Xbox Assist, customized guide tabs. It's like you just do this with them. Just take them and arrange them. But I like mine in the middle. Just like the old times. Settings I'm really not going to get into. Don't want to make this video too long. So yeah guys. That is it for my Xbox One review. If you guys like it. Please subscribe. Turn on the notifications, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.